And now the details on a major development in the struggles for New Jersey-based discount chain Foreman Mills. Late this afternoon, the company confirmed to Action News that it has a buyer. Plus, laid off employees are now back on the job. Action News reporter Nadia Hahn is live at the Foreman Mills in Port Richmond with more on who is behind this purchase. Nadia. Rick and Christy, the company is being acquired by New York based Shoppers World. And the CEO of Foreman Mills tells me all employees are now back on the, on the job and they will get paid for those two weeks they were off the job. All of this coming as a huge relief to both employees and customers. These shorts was $12.99. Asia Armstrong moved away from South Jersey three years ago but flies back to buy clothes for her kids. I currently live in Naples, Florida, but I fly out here just because the good deals they have. Yes. You flew in from Florida to shop at Foreman yes. Mills. And I leave tonight. <laughs> So news that Foreman Mills has found a buyer in Shoppers World comes as a huge relief. The buyer also reopening a location at 48th and Market in Philadelphia. But you just can't pass up the good deals. I love it so much. Employees must also be breathing a sigh of relief. Action News reported yesterday that according to the Pennsylvania Department of Labor and Industry, the retail chain could be cutting 245 jobs in the Commonwealth. And the chain had already laid off 119 corporate employees at its headquarters in Pensac in New Jersey. Those workers filing a class action lawsuit last week for unpaid wages and more. Allegations in the complaint indicate that the employer had a blatant disregard for their obligations under the law and to these employees. If a company with at least 100 employees lays off 50 people or more, federal law requires 60 days advance notice and continuing benefits during those 60 days. Pennsylvania also requires 60 days notice. As of April, New Jersey requires 90 days. They were informed on June 6th that day would be their last day. The class action lawsuit also claims the Pensac and corporate employees were not offered severance, which is also required by New Jersey law. One week of pay for each year the employee worked for the company. There was an email sent out to employees that explicitly stated that they would not be receiving any severance pay. But again, Foreman Mills tells me all employees are now back on the job and will get paid for those two weeks. The attorney, however, tells me he is still moving forward with that class action lawsuit. Live in Port Richmond, I'm Nidia Hahn, Channel 6 Action News. Yeah, certainly a sigh of relief for those employees. Nidia, thank you.